Hi everyone, welcome to our today's uh, demonstration. My name is Bernard Rono, a water treatment sales manager. And today we'll be demonstrating about an undersink reverse osmosis unit. Basically, an undersink reverse osmosis unit is used for purification of municipal water or borehole water and is suitable for under the kitchen sink installations. I will be um, opening the box just to show you the different components that's inside uh, the box. So inside the packaging uh, box, we have uh, four more boxes. So an undersink reverse osmosis unit uses a six-stage uh, filtration process. The first stage being uh, the spun sediment cartridge. These are cartridges suitable for removal of sand, any silt in water, dust, and rust particles. The second stage being a block-activated carbon cartridge. A block-activated carbon cartridge is suitable for absorption of chlorine, any organic matter in water, any odor, smell, any turbidity, and suspended particles. And then uh, the third stage being uh, the uh, granular activated carbon cartridge. Again, this is a cartridge suitable for absorption of any chlorine, any organic matter, odor, and to make sure the test is being polished. Port stage is the reverse osmosis membrane. The reverse osmosis membrane will remove any bacteria present in water, any unwanted uh, ions and minerals inside the water. The fifth stage being the inline uh, granular carbon. The inline granular carbon will polish any test and odor in water. And then we have finally the UV purifier. The UV purifier is meant to disinfect the water and um, kill any germs and bacteria inside the water. It also comes with a 10 liter storage tank. The 10 liter tank acts as a storage unit at the same time as a pressure tank. Also the components coming with it, this is a UV uh, adapter, we call it a ballast adapter. This is majorly for powering the UV on. It comes with an adapter for powering uh, a small DC pump that you can see here. The DC pump is for pushing water inside uh, the membrane. We have the membrane here, which goes inside the membrane housing here. We have the sleeve. The sleeve houses the lamp, and both the sleeve and the lamp, they go inside uh, the, UV, the UV body. When you're installing the first stage of the undersink uh, reverse osmosis unit, always ensure you break the polythene cover. But during the process, ensure you don't physically touch the inside part of the cartridge because that would bring in uh, contamination. And then you slot it in into the first unit. Also ensuring that it sits inside the groove. And then the first body is screwed as the first stage. Then we have the second cartridge. You also need to do is to break the seal as well. So you slot in the second stage of the cartridge. That is the block carbon. And now you screw in again to the second stage body. And then now to the start stage of the filtration process. And sure again it sits inside the groove. Screw in to the third body. So then you have the water moving from the first cartridge through to the second cartridge and to the third cartridge and then through the diaphragm pump inside into the membrane. So also what you need to do is to ensure that the membrane is in place. What happens, we have what you call a push fit. So you push this one in, the hose pipe comes out. You push this, remove the clip, and then you open this section here. So then the membrane sits inside the housing. And this, normally the arrow comes with a spanner that should be able to assist you in tightening up uh, the membrane housing because what you have to ensure is there's no leakage during the process, so this one helps you to tighten the unit. And then you return back the push fit in and close the clip. Also what you need to ensure is that uh, you install the lamp and the sleeve correctly. You fix the lamp into the adapter, so this sits in here. So this one sits right inside here. Now the lamp will go inside the sleeve. You have to fix the rubber, close it up, and then now the sleeve sits inside the UV housing, and you close the adapter back. 
adaptation, what you need to do is now fix the hose pipes. What happens is the adapter is fitted into the existing tap inside uh, the kitchen. This is where you tee off the water to the purifier. Right after the adapter, it goes into the white hose. After the white hose, it goes into the inlet cartridge unit. That would be the first stage. The second stage, you'd be having water coming out from uh, the post-carbon units. We have a yellow hose right from the post-carbon unit into the, into the tank. We have the red hose that comes, goes into the reject line. And then we have a blue hose that right from the tank and into the tap. So most people would want to ask, um, how do you know that the system is due for service? And what do you replace at what period in time? So just to explain, we have the three cartridge units, which is the first uh, treatment stage. We have the sediment, um, the carbon block, and the granular carbon cartridge. That These cartridges are normally replaced within a period of uh, three to four months. We normally recommend uh, three months. We have uh, the membrane that we normally recommend replacing after one year period. We have the UV lamp that, is, that runs for 10,000 hours. We normally estimate to one year, two months for replacement. We have a post uh, line uh, cartridge which is normally replaced after every one year. And just to demonstrate what normally happens during the replacement period, what you need is um, the housing range, or in this case, we normally call it a spanner. You twist it like that, and then now you're able to open freely. So we have the first stage, which is the spanned cartridge. Alternatively, you can also use the wound cartridge. We have the second stage, which is the carbon block cartridge. And then we have the third stage, which is the granular carbon. This is the first stage uh, cartridge unit. You can see how dirty the cartridge looks like. This is the other uh, carbon cartridge unit. Just remove it from inside the unit. And then this is the first stage uh, cartridge unit. As you can see, this is the dirt that has been trapped over a period of time. So these are now, can now be disposed and new units changed. So before you change the new units, you have to clean the housings. To clean this, you first have to empty what's inside. Ensure you don't lose the o-ring. So we are replacing our first stage with the span uh, cartridge unit. This is span sediment cartridge unit. Always ensure it sits at the center of the groove, like that. Um, again, place back the second, uh, this is a carbon block cartridge unit. Again, ensure it sits at the center. And then at lastly, we replace our granular carbon. So ensure it again sits at the center. Ensure you place back your O-rings. And then now we screw this back to